who came in unblocked. Just comes in off the edge, un unblocked. You're going to watch him just come right off the edge up there at the top. And a clean hit. That was a smart hit. You know why? He grabbed him around the waist. Go he didn't low. try to hit him in the head. Yeah. Didn't go to the knees. He just grabbed him around the waist. And that's a smart play because a lot of times guys will come in there, they'll try to blow up the quarterback and end up getting a personal foul. A smart play by Hall. Here he comes again. This time he's blocked by the tight end, Missy. Toward the end zone. Caught inside the five. Aiken. Did he make it? No. He's a yard away. Get up. They've got to get on the ball. Get up on the ball and spike it. And now they can bring in their big personnel. I think nothing wrong with spiking the ball here because... No. And then again, you've got to be careful trying to run it in because you have no more timeout. Yep. So, look, you've got to look for play action here. Hold everything. And we have a timeout. I believe Marshall wants one. So with 26 seconds to go, Marshall burns with a timeout. We just throw that ball up there to Nissy, and Nissy's 6'6". Six, six. Or actually, that... That's Aiken. Yeah, that's Aiken. Catch. Aiken at 6'2", with that big body. 6'2", 220 pounds. You can see, you know, they're looking to see if he was down short of the end zone. Three guys there, he just bounces off of them. And yeah, it looks like he is short of the touchdown. McClellan, how about the defensive end coming all the way down to aid Bembry with that play? And that big body made sure that that was not a touchdown. All right, now, you've got a great running back. You only got a yard to go. What are you thinking? Uh, first off, if you're a defensive player, what are you thinking? I'm thinking you watch the play action pass here because they're, I don't think that they're going to run the ball here. They, they're out of timeout. Okay. If they do run it and you stop them defensively, you just want to lay on top of the guy, let the clock continue to run. So if you're UCF, you don't want to just have to run the ball, maybe get one more play out of it, roll your quarterback out. If it's not there, throw it away. The clock stops, and now it's second down. Uncovered receiver is lost. There's nobody, yeah, there's nobody on the out there. He's waving his hands. There's nobody there. Touchdown! And that's after a Marshall timeout. Call they another call, one. They <laughs> called a timeout and still didn't get the right personnel on the field. But how do you leave a wide receiver uncovered? You don't even cover the guy. For the lead. That's unbelievable. I mean, first lead of the game for UCF happens with 23 seconds remaining. Marshall has two timeouts. I know, I'm just as surprised that, that's as the you beauty are. But look of at college him. football. But look at this. Uncovered. Nobody there. And look at look at Rocky Ross. He's wing waving like, hey, look at me. There is nobody out here. And he just runs it. And it's just too easy. And again, that is after Marshall had taken a timeout. They don't get the right defensive personnel on the field. And they leave a guy uncovered. That's the beauty of college football. And you can feel the stadium and see for yourself <laughs> what happens on the UCF campus when this place gets excited. That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Now, they kick it away from Darius Marshall. So, pretty good field position. Now, the ball down again. Don't forget, 
Marshall was trying to wrap this game up and fumble the ball away on a bad exchange. Marshall does hang on to the ball. They are at their own 45, two timeouts, 17 seconds. Coming up next on SportsCenter with John Anderson and Steve Levy. Brett Favre shines at Lambeau Field. Drew Brees with a conversation and a little reaction on what happened with the World Series for the Yankees and the Phillies. Now you can't just play prevent defense and, and give up yards in front of you. You still have to play defense here and make it tough on you. Going deep. One-on-one -on -one coverage, and it's intercepted, and then dropped. Incomplete. Body had the ball and could not hang on. That would have sealed the deal for UCF. And, and again, surprising call to me. Now that they play man coverage, again, there's 17 seconds left in the game, and you leave guys out there in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Why not play deep and keep everything in front of you and in bounds? Just don't give up anything deep, but when you leave it at single coverage, anything can happen. Dobson's made one big catch already tonight. Ryan again, and that's knocked away. So with six seconds, likely the last shot for the herd. Marshall had a couple of chances to put this game away. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's why you never quit. And UCF hangs on for these six seconds. Both these teams will be three and two in Conference USA. In the Eastern Division behind East Carolina by a game. Anderson sacks himself. Game over. 